What's up everyone, Takedown here, back with another video. As you guys might have seen on my channel, I'm doing a small little mini series where I share some of my favorite video games on different consoles. I have recently done the PlayStation 2 and NES, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top favorite arcade video games of all time. Now, just a reminder, this list is only going to include the video games that I remember playing as a kid. I didn't play all of the arcade video games. These are the top five that I remember playing. And the reason that I'm not going to be sharing just the top arcade video games is, to me, it's unfair to talk about a video game that I've never played and experienced. So I'm not going to be sharing all of the top video games. I'm just going to be sharing the five arcade video games that I remember playing as a kid. So let's get right into this. Up first, in my opinion, is the most iconic arcade video game of all time. It is the most retro video game, in my opinion, and that is Pac-Man. Now, I know whenever it comes to Pac-Man, there is a specific pattern that you can do on each level to be able to advance and basically beat the game if that's what you desire to do whenever you are playing Pac-Man. But for me, I didn't really care about the pattern. I never looked into patterns for the game because honestly, I didn't really want to learn a pattern for the game to just be able to beat the game. Whenever it comes to retro games, my goal is to, number one, always try to beat my own personal high score. And the other thing is just to have fun. Usually I play the retro games, it is on my free time, whenever I'm just trying to relax. I don't want to just go and beat the game. I don't want to have to follow a specific pattern and a specific way to play the game. I just want to play the game just to have fun. So I never learned any of the patterns. The main thing I would do whenever it came to Pac-Man was, number one, I would always just go and try to eat as many of the regular dots as I could. That'd be the first thing I do, and I try to leave the four dots that turned the ghost and made them edible. I used to always do that. I used to leave those to last, unless I got caught in a corner where I had no choice but to get one of those. But whenever I would get them, I would try my best to eat all four of the ghosts just to get more and more points. So that's what I used to do. I used to get the regular dots first and try to my best to leave the four other dots till the end to be able to go and rack up more points. For me, whenever it came to Pac-Man, I don't think, honestly, I ever got past level three or if I did, it was very rare. It used to be very hard for me. I never got too far in Pac-Man, unfortunately. But like I said, I only played Pac-Man whenever I just was trying to have fun and relax. I didn't want to learn a specific pattern. The next game is Space Invaders. Now for me, I never played Space Invaders for a really long time because currently I don't have any system that has Space Invaders on it and I don't live near any arcades. There's no arcades near me, so I can't go and play Space Invaders. But Space Invaders, the reason why I wanted to put it on this list is because whenever I was a kid, I used to play Space Invaders all the time, especially in computer class and school whenever I was in like the fifth and sixth grade. I used to go with me and my friends and different kid-friendly websites would always have a version of Space Invaders on it. So we would basically go and see who can get the most points in whatever version of Space Invaders we are playing on whatever website just to get bragging rights. So that's what we used to do. We used to have so much fun to go and do it. My strategy, I never really did the greatest whenever it came to Space Invaders. I would get decently far, but I would always end up all, I'm not sure what they are called, I'm going to say bases, the things that you hide behind uh, whenever the enemy is shooting at you. Basically for me, all the time, all four of my bases would be completely destroyed before the enemy would come down, before I killed the final enemy. And that used to always suck. The other strategy I used to try to do is hide behind them as much as I could, and then basically try to shoot up from them just to try to kill more enemies. But that used to always backfire, but... This game for me, I have so many memories from back in like the 5th and 6th grade where me and my friends are just playing it on different websites, just trying to see who can beat each other and who is the best and who gets the most points. So that's why I wanted to add it to this list. Next up is Galaga, which for me is one of my favorite shooter games whenever it came to a classic arcade video game. It was the most fun in my opinion. There is plenty out there, but for me, Galaga was the most fun. Now... I have played Galaga on the DS, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 4, and in an actual arcade. And I want to say some more consoles as well, but 
definitely those ones are the ones that I remember playing the most. I still have it on my PlayStation 4. You can purchase that game and a couple other retro games on your PlayStation 4. So I do from time to time go and play it on my PlayStation 4. That's the most common way that I play it now. But for me, whenever it came to any classic arcade video game, like I've already mentioned, my main goal was just to beat my own personal high score, beat my own best every single time. That was what I always set out to do. With Galaga, I don't think I made it past level 5 too often. Usually I ended at level 5. That's where I would die and lose all my lives. But the one thing I used to always do is right before a bonus round, I used to try to get my ship captured. And then before that round ended, I would try to shoot down the ship that captured me. And then that would turn my ship into a double shooter ship, which is basically twice the length. Going into a bonus round, it is way easier to be able to take out all of the ships and earn all of the bonus points that you're able to get in that bonus round. So it's way easier there. By getting more points, you're able to gain extra lives. But at the end of the day, sometimes it wasn't worth it unless you're going into a bonus level. So that's what I used to do all the time on Galaga. It was a lot of fun. But again, on Galaga, there was certain patterns that you could follow to be able to advance to the next stages. But I used to only play it just to have fun and just to relax. So I never wanted to learn any of those patterns. Next up is Mappy, which for me, the only console that I've ever played Mappy on, because it was the only one that was available on that I owned, was the DS. I basically purchased the Namco Anniversary on the DS, and it included Mappy, whereas the PlayStation 2 Namco Anniversary game never uh, included Mappy. So it was the first time me playing Mappy, and... For the DS version, that was the number one game that I played on it, was Mappy. Basically, Mappy, you are a uh, cop mouse, and you have to go in these houses and retrieve um, the stolen goods. So whenever you go over things like a TV and stuff like that, it would give you more points, and that's how you earned a lot more points. If you take out some of the enemies, you're able to earn points as well. Bouncing on tr trampolines, you're able to earn points as well. One thing that was... For me, uh, I think the cat, uh, the enemies were small cats, so that's why if they touched you, you would end up losing a life. But for me, I used to be able to easily get over 100,000 points on that, and that to me was the most fun game that I've ever played whenever it came to arcade games. It was so much fun, a very classic game, it even had bonus levels as well. Sadly, I can't play it anymore unless I find a site on the my laptop that has it, I'd be able to go and play it. But it's not included on the PS4, it's not included in many places, and like I've already mentioned, I don't have an arcade near me, so I can't go and play Mappy, which I honestly miss Mappy the most, because it used to be the one that I used to have the most fun on. And the last one here is Dig Dug 2. Now, I did enjoy the first Dig Dug, however, I wasn't too much of a fan of it being underground, and you had to go and dig down to find the enemies. I used to always get one or two enemies every level that would escape on me, and I used to hate that. Dig Dug 2, however, is all above ground, and you can do it the same way as Dig Dug, where you can just shoot your gun and be able to pop the enemies. But to earn more points, if you're able to trap your enemies into the certain area that you're able to destroy and blast away, you are be able to destroy part of the island. If you trap your enemies in there, you'd earn more points. So that's what I used to always try to do is be to trap the enemies, to be able to gain more points, and just blow up part of the island. For me, it was more of an open world, more of a 3D look to it, and it was a lot of fun. I also played this on the Nintendo DS, and I think that was the only place I played this as well, but I definitely played Mappy the most, but in second place would be Dig Dug. So these are the five arcade video games that I remember playing the most, and I had the most fun on. These aren't necessarily the top arcade video games of all time, but they're the only ones that I remember playing the most. And I only wanted to talk about video games that I remember playing whenever I was a kid, because if I've never played the video game, I can't really talk about it and kind of explain what I used to do on it and how much fun I used to have. I can't explain any of that if I've never played the video game. So that's why this series, I'm only going to be talking about video games that I remember playing, but Comment down below what is your favorite arcade video game that you remember playing as a kid of all time. I want to hear what you guys think because I'm sure there's some out there. And whenever I get a chance to, I want to go and start playing more retro video games, more arcade video games. It's just I don't have an arcade near me. So I want to hear what your favorite is down below. And I am going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.